I'm your host, Michael Berg, joined in studio live again, <laughs> once again, by Vivian Hudson and Mr. Robert Castaneda. Hi there. So, Viv, one of the episodes that we did, oh, about a thousand episodes ago, it seems like, <laughs> but at least two years ago that we did, that I got several comments on that people liked the episode was about how to stay fit on the road, which I know is a little bit of a diversion from what we normally cover in this, but it actually plays, it actually does tie into your overall sales strategy and your presentation that you make to doctors. So um, I thought we could get a fresh perspective on this with Mr. Castaneda here, who has been a road warrior himself for many years. I'm sure he's picked up a couple tools and tricks. So. Uh, first off, Robert, can you just speak to number one? I'm sure you know how difficult it is being a road warrior to stay active, to stay healthy on the road. So give, give, give us your philosophy on it. Absolutely. So, of course, staying fit for people um, means different things, right? I personally like the gym, but I did go through different uh, phases. Like I, I, I did running, outdoor running for a while until the smog and other stuff just got to me and I just couldn't do it anymore. Um, and then I did some yoga. I would do yoga or, or Pilates because you don't really need a lot of room for that. You can do it anywhere in your hotel room. <clears throat> YouTube has a lot of great stuff. YouTube is a very valuable, it's a valuable resource for many things, but and um, but for fitness, there's a lot of um, three minute, three to eight minute videos on core exercises. Core is everything. Core keeps your your um, physique and your um, uh, posture in the right place. We're when we're out in the field and making calls, we don't have an office. We don't have anything other than our persona. So being the best you can be also means presenting yourself physically, mentally. Sometimes exercise is not to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger or whoever the, the guy is today. Uh, Dwayne Mike Johnson, Mike Berg, yeah, right. The Rock, you know, and stuff like, yeah, like Mike Berg, right, 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 exactly like Mike Berg. So if for, for being fit for other people, maybe just, um, I have a friend of mine who every time he has a meal, he walks for 30 minutes right after a meal. And that's his workout, that's it. He doesn't go to the gym in the morning, he doesn't do anything else, but it keeps some, um, He's very active and it keeps his energy levels high. It's just that little burst of, of workout that ke that keeps him at the weight and the physique he's comfortable with. I personally aspire to be like Mike Berg. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I work out every morning. I'm at 5.30, I'm at the gym. And, uh, and gyms, local gyms and gyms on the road. If you find a national gym, it's great to have a, a membership if you're a, a, a road warrior. but um, lately, I've, because of <clears throat> businesses opening locally here for me, I've made my workouts here locally at a gym, and the gym's actually paid off because the same people show up at 5.30, it's the 5.30 crew, and guess what? I have a gastro who's a client now. He was my workout buddy. Now he's my client. I have a low T owner who is now my client, and they work out there. Um, so it's... It's the gym membership pays off more than just in my health, but also it's helped my business too. So there's many benefits to staying fit. It's not just the act of being fit, but it's, it's, it's all of it. It's presenting yourself well, it's getting to know people that do the same kinds of exercises you do, and who knows, eventually it could lead into additional revenue. I think one of the important things that you said was posture, and I think that we can perhaps not really pay much attention to our posture but your posture projects your confidence and really tells people that you know what you're about so yes. um, definitely I, I think that that's a very important point but yesterday I spent the day with Robert driving around all four corners of San Antonio and back again in the Texas heat and it's only what are we in well it was May yesterday right yes. <laughs> <laughs> and by the time I got back to the hotel room last night after dinner and um, I just looked at my ankles and I felt like the elephant woman. <laughs> <laughs> so I think one of my tips would be get a good pair of flight socks. <laughs> yes. And <clears throat> you, you brought up a great point, Vivian. You know, yesterday you were uh, hydrating a lot. So that's another thing you always want to do is hydrate. Um, it would it, Preferably with just water 
but to keep yourself hydrated at all times, it helps with your, your voice, it helps with your mental capacity and synapses firing uh, properly, and it does keep you regular too. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's a tip that all our listeners want to know about. Thank right. You, thank you for sharing that. You got it. Well, okay, so half, half the equation is exercise, of course, but diet is, the, is really the big part of this, and I know being a road warrior, I've been guilty of it to where all of a sudden, end of the day, you got fast food wrappers in your car, you got the Slim Jim. I got, I had one day, I remember, I, I had to go to Palm Springs and I drove through the desert and I, I was driving back through the desert at night and I just, in a moment of weakness, I don't know what happened, but I woke up the next day and went down to my car and there was an empty Slim Jim wrapper, an empty bag of Funyuns. <laughs> And I think of you who and I what did I do? This is I just went off the rails. How so what how do you how do you satiate yourself during the day to stay fit? How do you plan out a strategy so that you're not gonna succumb to the weaknesses like uh, like I did? Well, you know, we're all we're all uh, guilty or we all fall to our little weaknesses. Myself here in Texas there's these little Czechoslovak check stops they call them. They're Czech owned uh, truck stops or gas stations and they have uh, you know the roasted uh, pecans and and all these other stuff that has full of sugar and I end up just get <laughs> doing it myself so what I do is is what I like to practice is um, it's kind of the way I, I I approach everything is you know I love the ancillary business and it shows with my attitude and my personality when, when I'm in the clinic but I also try to love myself, and, and so I try to just be very conscious of what I'm putting into my body and, and, and how much and how frequent. So all in moderation, right, and it is good, but um, I try to keep a very high um, uh, vegetable and um, low starch and low carb diet when I can. When I'm fast fooding, I usually do the side salad, or if they have one, if they don't, if I'm at, you know, Places where it's like you know fry king, <laughs> then I I just try to peel off as much of that fry as possible <laughs> and eat what is is somewhat palatable or dab the pizza. You know, dabbing the pizza cuts half the calories. Believe it or not, it does. So there's little tricks you can learn too by doing things. <laughs> I know, right? That's part of the chicken skins and the grease on top of the pizza. I know. Well, you, know, you got there's sacrifices. All things require sacrifice. I think one of the things that I always had was like I'd always tend to grab like one or two apples and have an apple in my power. You know, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but we want to go see those doctors, so I guess we don't want to keep them away. But, <laughs> <laughs> but and apples just like a, a good nutritious snack in between, and um, definitely that was just something that I always kept on hand as well. And I think like, I know yesterday I didn't hit my step count up for a start. I didn't go to the gym yesterday morning either, which was my bad, but, um, but when you go from doctor's office to doctor's office, you know, you're typically not walking a lot. So another thing that I would do is always park that little bit further away. So when you're in the parking area, it might just be an extra 20, 50 or 100 steps or whatever. But all those little bits help and especially you might spend an hour in the car driving from one location to another and just having that extra little bit of like trying to get your 250 steps in every hour then maybe that's all you need to do is just park that little bit further away as well. Yes, and 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 if it's a second level or third level office, take the stairs unless instead of the Unless you've got that elevator. heavy equipment. Right, unless you're <laughs> lugging something. You know. those, those are good points, Robert. I know you and I had an experience to, with a rep that shall remain nameless. Where we were, I always do that, though. If I'll park in one place, and if I know I can walk around and see the doctors, I'll do that all. But we had a, a rep we were going to see, and... Our, a rep we were riding with and we saw one doctor he says all right well let's load in the car we're going to the next doctor we said well where is it and he pointed to it it was right across the parking lot like what are we driving over there remember that <laughs> yes <laughs> why yes. are we driving over there but but uh, kind of back to the point about nutrition i also think it's very important to uh to not starve yourself that's just as important as uh, almost as bad as overeating and i know freakonomics had um studied 
um, people that go to court and get sentenced after lunch versus before lunch, and they get much tougher sentences right before lunch than they do after lunch because it's affecting the judge's mood. And so I got to think some of that is uh, transferable to us. I mean, we're we're emotional creatures, and if you are, you know, if you're starving yourself during the day, I'm going to be the, I'm going to be the workaholic, and I'm going to work through lunch, and I'm not going to stop. That's fine if you're working through lunch, but you got to make sure that um, uh, that you're not starving yourself because that could that could affect your performance also. Very good point, absolutely. And and with not starving yourself, little things like little habits. If I don't personally partake, but if you partake in tobacco products, refrain from doing that prior to going seeing a doctor. Nothing is like more, at least from what I've seen and with my own personal experience with reps that do partake in tobacco products um, it tends to leave a bad um, odor that follows them into the clinic and they're like oh there's that rep that smells you know and things like that you know fit fit means so many things to so many different people of course it's fit for the body but also for the mind for your presentation um, you don't have to be in the best possible shape but just overall be at a place where you feel confident you feel happy you feel like you're really trying to put forth the effort of um, doing this industry and yourself justice by just being better and conscious of your health and I think one of the final points is just getting a good night's sleep because you don't want to be driving around and getting that attack of the snoozers while you're behind the wheel for a start and I, I did have a couple of times where I just like pulled over, had a 10 minute nap at a, like a tr truck stop or something like that and um, had to leave my car running on, on the hot days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably not the best advice for a woman but it was certainly better than driving off the road and, and having a little snooze mid, mid interstate. So uh, getting a good night's sleep also means that you're in a better frame of mind to have more willpower and, and to show up and be your best self. So, Very good point. Yes. Sleep is absolutely probably half the battle is getting yeah. good rest. Well, thanks a lot, Robert. Thank you very much.